Hey guys, welcome back to my channel to another swatch video. If you are new here, welcome to the Lipstick Swatch family. My name is Shemaine and I do lipstick swatches. If you have been with me, I want to thank you for your continued support. So today's video is the second video to the Dose of Colors lipstick set. So there are two new sets that came out from those of colors, the stone and the truffle. So I have both of them here. I did the video for the stone set already. So if you want to see that, I will leave a link in the description for you to go and check it out. So today's video, I will be doing the truffle set this time around. So these sets contain a lip liner a liquid matte lipstick, a velvet mousse lipstick, as well as a stay glossy lip gloss. So this is the truffle set. So what I'm going to do, I am going to swatch each of them individually. And then the last thing I'm going to do is wear them together to show you what a unified look looks like so that would be the lipstick the lip liner as well as the gloss on top just so you can have an overall idea of what they actually look like together so without any further ado let us jump right into the video first thing we're going to start with is the lip liner this is the truffle lip liner and I did show how much product we got in the first video. So I'm just going to quickly show you guys how much product it is in here. And it's about up to here. So I wasn't quite happy with how much product is in there. Hand swatch here. And that is what the truffle looks like. So all of these are going to be in the shade truffle. And the stone set are all in the shade stone. So this is what the truffle lip liner looks like. I actually do like this color. I think it complements me a lot more. I did like the stone color as well. But this one, I think a little bit of brown in there definitely makes it look more natural on my lips. And I love that feeling. I also like that it's creamy, it's soft, and it's easy to blend. So I definitely like this one a lot. Next up, we have the Liquid Matte Lipstick. I was not a fan of the Stone Lipstick. I just did not like the formula. But we'll see what this one swatch is like. I just found the formula to be a little bit too drying. Well, this almost looks like a peach undertone as well. This is without the lip liner. I took the lip liner off. Just so you can see how each lip product performs individually. And then at the end, we will put them all together to see how well they look. So like the Stone Lipstick, I find that this one also takes... A little bit to dry as I press my lips together they're still sticking so they're not completely dry as yet and I think the same thing is happening where it's kind of emphasizing the fine lines in my lips and like dry spots on my lips so that's one of the reason why I didn't particularly care for the liquid matte lipstick and it's doing the same thing with this one. The color is okay. Like I really do prefer this color over the stone color. I feel like it complements me a little bit more than the stone. So if I had to choose as far as the color, I would choose the truffle lipstick over the stone lipstick. But as far as the performance, these perform the same way. They take a little bit longer to dry. They emphasize the fine lines and wrinkles on your lips. So if you already have super dry cracked lips, these will not work for you. 
Um, and like I said in the previous video, the way it dries is an indication of how it's going to wear two to three hours later. So if it doesn't look good right now, it's highly possible that it's not going to look good the longer you wear them. So you just have to keep that in mind and I will leave that decision up to you if it's something that you want to put up with throughout the day. Also, as a reminder, the liquid matte lipsticks are really difficult to remove. So you will need some sort of oil base to remove the liquid matte because you're going to have a hard time removing that with just makeup wipe. So moving on to the next lip product here, we have the lip gloss. And then this one is actually my favorite part of the entire package. So the first two, the lip liner and the liquid matte, they weren't really scented. It's just a very subtle, faint smell, but I wouldn't describe it as being a scented lipstick because I couldn't smell anything. But the lip glosses smell just so delicious. It smells so good. And this is the lip gloss. This is a pretty nude lip gloss. And like I mentioned in the previous video, I love the coverage you get from the doe foot applicator. It just holds enough product that you do not need to go back in the tube to get more product. And I love this color. So this is looking more like a true nude on my skin tone. Whereas the stone that had that rosy finish to it, which was still very pretty, but this one actually looks like my lips, but better. And of course, depending on how pigmented your lips are, these are gonna swatch differently. So some of us have darker lips, so this might not even show up on your lips because it's darker. So you also have to keep that in mind. So how it looks on me is not really how it's going to look on you depending on how pigmented your lips are because we all have discoloration around our lips in different areas and so that does affect how the lip gloss wears so just something to think about whenever you're buying lip gloss because i run into that a lot where a lot of lip glosses look the same on my lips because my lips are darker another thing that i talked about was the stickiness so the stickiness relates to how the lipstick actually feels on your lips these are very soft, very creamy, very comfortable. I love the formula of the Dose of Colors lip gloss. What I mean by it's not sticky, when I press my lips together, they are not strings of lip gloss just looking really nasty. Some lip glosses do that and those tend to be lip glosses that have a thicker consistency. You find that they just stick everywhere whereas these just feel like a very light lip balm consistency but with that high gloss finish and also these will stick to your hair it doesn't matter what lip gloss you wear i say this a million times it will stick to your hair but as far as it feeling sticky on your lips it does not feel sticky on my lips this is a great color i love how it looks on me and this one is definitely a keeper And lastly, but not leastly, we have the Velvet Mousse Lipstick. So this one at the far end here is the Velvet Mousse Lipstick. So the formula for the Velvet Mousse Lipstick, it's very lightweight. It feels like there's nothing on my lips. It's completely weightless. 
And what I like about it as well is that it doesn't really emphasize any dry areas on my lips like the liquid matte did. So I was super impressed at how this actually dried on my lips. I also mentioned that these remind me a lot of the ColourPop Ultra Blotted Lipsticks because I feel like you can also kind of blend it out with your fingers and it still looks really good. So I like that it's a very soft feel on my lips but lightweight at the same time. The formula is just amazing and I am digging this color. I even feel like you can be a little bit messy with this mousse lipstick and it wouldn't be so obvious because it kind of just absorbs into your lips and makes it seem like you're not wearing anything. So I really like that feature about it and this would certainly be a low maintenance lipstick. You don't have to worry about it bleeding or anything or getting on your teeth. So this is something that you can definitely carry around in your purse for day-to-day -day wear. It's a simple low maintenance lipstick that I think everyone can use, especially since most of us have less and less time to get our makeup done every day. So having something like this that you can, you can even put on in the car without needing a mirror, I think that is excellent. So I really like this color. I love the formula. This one doesn't really have a scent either. So I think across the board, we're all good. So the last part of the lip swatch that I'm going to do is combining three of the lip products so that we can see what this combination will look like. I'm going to start off with the lip liner and then I will apply the Velvet Mousse lipstick and then lastly to that I am going to apply the Ultra Glossy Gloss. Now I'm going to apply the Velvet Mousse lipstick. It's looking good so far. And then lastly, I am going to apply the Stay Glossy Gloss. Have I been calling this the Ultra Glossy Gloss? Why have I been doing that? It's the Stay Glossy Gloss. And... So this is really not a bad combination. I really like the results that I got from the Stone Set as well. And I love the results that I got from this. The lip liner along with the velvet mousse lipstick and then the ultra glossy why do i keep calling it the ultra glossy gloss the stay glossy gloss but like i was saying i love the results that i'm getting from this i think even if you wear these on your own you will still get a great result but there will be times when you just want to amp up the cuteness and that is when the entire set will come in. I prefer to use the Velvet Mousse lipstick just because I don't really care for the formula for the liquid matte lipstick. I don't find it to be very comfortable so I will just stick to the Velvet Mousse lipstick. But overall I think it's a great combination. It's nice that they have a curated set for you with everything so you don't have to go look in for your lip liner or a liquid lipstick to match the, the lip gloss. Everything is in one package and that will relieve so much headache and stress when it comes to finding something that matches. So I think it's a great benefit to just have everything you need all in one package. But that's all I got for you guys. If you like this video, make sure to go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell because that's the only way that you're gonna be notified whenever I post a lipstick swatch video. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you in my next swatch video. Bye.